get me as much as possible. Files you'll see on a basic file for you. What I'm going to do now is illustrate the use of the file, show you the action, what actually goes on in your horse's mouth, because most people they've never seen what's going on. They don't really, don't really look. Hopefully, if someone is file floating, they're using a speculum, at least they can get a little bit better job done. So what I'm going to do is just show the actual where it gets. It's just the sharp points on the side of the tree. So essentially, they'd be filing this area here. Let me just get out of the way so you can see it a little easier. Filing these sharp points off like that. That's usually what happens. Now, in a little bit, I'm going to grab my motorized tools and do the same thing. Most people who do file flooding are not going to address the occlusal surfaces. They just do the sharp points and not much else as far as the actual uh, correction. They'll do both sides. They'll, they'll correct this side as well and do the, the sharp points. The problem with this horse is it actually has some molars that stick out further than others on the actual. If there's something up front here that has an angle on it, so it makes it easier to get to this top mole up there. So that would be used in this area. This area here for filing. That type of a promotion. And that's basically what they're going to achieve is just this area right here. Okay? Just filing off the points. So whenever you hear that, now you have a bit of an idea of what it is that they're trying to achieve. So now I'm going to stop a moment and um, get my motorized tools ready and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at how the motorized tools are used. And try to get these arcades uh, correct. The arcade angles are not too bad. They're probably a little steeper than, not, than we'd like. Just want to probably level them out slightly. Just change the angle slightly here. But not a whole lot of work on the actual angles themselves. They're relatively within uh, the realm of normal. So we'll probably adjust that slightly. And of course you have your normal uh, buckle ridges and lingual ridges right here, the points on the inside right here and the points on the outside. And we'll take all those off with the motorized tool. We have tools. our Dremel motor and our motorized tool. So I'll go into the mouth and I'll start making some corrections. I'm going to first take off the sharp points like you see on a typical file float and then I'll start working on the occlusal surface. The dust, by the way, is not smoke, just in case you think it's getting hot. It's uh, just the tooth grinding is being removed. There's a little edge on the outside here that often irritates a horse's cheek. I'm going to just get that right now. Now we're going to go on the inside, lingual area. 
and try to get the points that would normally irritate. The tongue sits here, typically in a horse. This is where the, your horse's tongue would be. These edges here will irritate your horse's tongue. So I'm going to just bevel those and see here we go with that. I'm going to work on the lower molar part of the bits here. What we're doing here is rounding off this upper and lower molar, so this area here where your cheek gets pulled, the cheek of your horse is, when you put a bit in this mouth, it gets pulled towards this upper and lower molar. When that mouth is closed, if there's any sharp edges here, that's going to irritate your horse's cheek. So this is what the bit seat actually is. So I'm going to work on this area and round it off to make it less likely to hurt your horse's soft. We do as much as we can with this particular tool. Then I'm going to change and use a special tool I use for the bit seat. So just give me a second, I'll do that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just finish up the bit seat, do a little bit more refined work on that with this uh, this little uh, carbide ball. It allows me to just clean it up a little bit better. Okay, you can see that's nice and rounded. I will warn you, I have seen some people doing bit seats that will take that tooth all the way down to the gum line. I think that's irresponsible, personally. Um, rounding it up is fine, but sometimes, if the molar is tall, you shouldn't take it down to here. But I've seen bit seats where they, they take off the whole front of this tooth, and there's no tooth to hit. Well, that's, that's not what the uh, International Association of Equine Dentistry uh, standard is. So I, I follow their standard, which is just rounding off the front and the sides, but not really taking it down to the mandible. And when I've seen that in the past, it's, it's a little disturbing. I'd prefer to... Uh, lean to the side of caution uh, and you can see now if you look at these two two different teeth look at this one's rounded with a bit seat this one does not have a bit seat see these spikes here if your soft tissue of your horse's mouth is pushed into that that would cause them to fight you and also down here that's that's what the tooth looks like without a bit seat this is what the teeth look like without being level now these teeth here unfortunately are dropping down so okay what we're going to do now is a, a just a minor incisor correction nothing too complicated I've done a lot more complex than this Tooth kids, that's uh, contacting early. That pretty much gives you the idea on the insides of correction. When, when I do the insides of correction, that also brings the molars closer together. You see the molars over here as they're, they're uh, connecting. Less, less uh, interruption. So there's a few that are loose. We've taken all those sharp points off. Now normally in a horse, 